Hello, my name is Shivangi Srivastav, a final year student of B.Tech Civil Engineering at Faculty of Engineering, University of Lucknow. Today, I am going to introduce you to a topic named Green Concrete. Okay, so before starting the actual presentation, let me give you the basic introduction about concrete. Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, fine aggregate, coarse aggregate and water poured into a framework to form structure. There is a wide range of concrete types and some of the examples are reinforced cement concrete, plain cement concrete, ready mix concrete and green concrete. I took this topic because it is economically beneficial among most of them. So let's get started. These are the topics which I'll be covering in my presentation. What is green concrete? Need of green concrete? Environmental benefits to using green concrete? Materials for green concrete? Application, advantages, disadvantages, suitability of green concrete structures, scope in India, green building projects executed in India, and conclusion. Now, what is green concrete? Okay, so first of all, let me give you the basic introduction of green concrete as well. Green concrete is a revolutionary topic in the history of concrete industry. This was first invented in Denmark in 1998. Concrete that uses less energy in its production and process less carbon dioxide than normal concrete is green concrete. Basically, green concrete is a type of concrete which is much like a conventional concrete, but the production of such concrete requires minimum amount of energy and causes least harm to the environment. Basically, it is a concept of using eco-friendly materials in concrete or at least over one of its components, whereas the production process doesn't lead to environmental destruction, which makes the system more sustainable. It is also very cheap to produce because waste products are used as a partial substitutes. Green concrete has nothing to do with the color. Need of green concrete The size of construction industries all over the world is growing at a faster rate. The huge construction growth boosts demand of construction materials. Aggregates are the main constituent of concrete. Due to continuous mining, the availability of aggregate has emerged problems in recent times and to overcome this problem, there is a need to find replacement and nowadays there is a replacement to some extent and one of its solution is green concrete. It reduces the emission of carbon dioxide. Cement based materials are the most abundant manufactured materials in the world. The main ingredient in cement concrete is cement and it consists of limestone that is CaCO3 and during manufacturing the ingredients are heated up to 800 to 10,000 degrees Celsius and CO2 is driven off during this. Approx 1 kg cement releases about 900 grams of CO2. And also use of green concrete helps in saving energy and it also has a greater resistance to corrosion because it is highly alkaline and it forms a thin invisible protective iron oxide film on the surface. Now, environmental benefits to using green concrete. First of all, it lasts longer. Green concrete has lower rate of shrinkage than concrete made from cements. Structures built using green concrete has a better chance of surviving fire as it can withstand temperature up to 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. Secondly, it reduces energy consumption. If we use less cement and more residual products, then it will take less energy because materials used in cement require huge amount of coal and natural gas to heat. And it reduces less carbon dioxide emissions as well. As I've already explained this in my previous slides. Now materials for green concrete. Recycle demolition waste aggregate, recycle concrete aggregate, blast furnace slag, manufactured sand, glass aggregate, fly ash. Some of them can be used as a coarse aggregate and fine aggregates. Here we can see some of its examples. Materials used for green concrete, coarse aggregates. Fresh local aggregate, recycled demolition waste aggregate, recycled concrete material, blast furnace slag. Here are some more of fine aggregates. Manufactured sand for concrete, Recycled glass aggregate, blast furnace slag, fly ash. Fly ash is basically a byproduct produced during the operation of power plant and the finally divided materials from the exhausted gases are collected in precipitation. Sorry, precipitators. And utilization of fly ash as a replacement cement or any other admixture in concrete saves cement which leads to less CO2 emissions. Now, applications of green concrete. 
it can be used in the construction of bridges it is widely used in the building construction it is used in the construction of column as well and it can be used in the road construction also here are some advantages of green concrete much change is not required for the preparation of green concrete compared to conventional concrete it reduces environmental pollution as it emits less co2 have good thermal resistance it reduces the consumption of cement overall because we use by products economical compared to conventional concrete and it also has a greater resistance to corrosion as i have already explained in my previous slide now here are some disadvantages of green concrete structures constructed with green concrete have comparatively less life than structures with conventional concrete because in green concrete we use demolition waste materials and recycled products water absorption is high because recycled aggregates absorbs more, more water comparatively compressive strength and other characteristics are less compared to conventional concrete there are several factors which enhances the suitability of green concrete in structures which includes it reduces the dead weight of the structure of a facade from 5 tons to about 3.5 tons reduces crane edge load allow handling lifting flexibility with lighter weight good thermal and fire resistance reduction of concrete industries co2 emission by 30% increased concrete industry use of waste product by 20% no environmental pollution and capable for sustainable development it requires less maintenance as repair and repair as well now scope in india green concrete is a revolutionary topic in the history of concrete industry and it has been made with concrete waste so it doesn't take more time to come in india because industries are already facing problem to dispose waste it reduce environmental impact with reduction in co2 emission use of green concrete can help as to reduce a lot of wastage of several products here are some green building projects that has been executed in india first was state pwd office building nasik maharashtra registered for griha ratings griha is a rating tool that helps the people assess the performance of them building against certain nationally acceptable benchmark it evaluates the environmental performance of a building holistically over the entire life cycle thereby providing a definitive standard for what constitute a green building the area was 15000 square feet it was teri government built project teri the energy and resource institute is a research institute in new delhi that specializes in the field of energy environment and sustainable development it was established in 1974 it was formerly known as the tata energy research institute the next is kanteshwar green project panvel this too was registered for griha ratings the area was 500 square feet and this too was teri government project third was sabarmati gas limited gandhinagar this was registered for leed ratings and its full form is leadership in energy and environmental design it is the most widely used green building rating system in the world available for virtually all building types it provides a framework for healthy highly efficient and cost saving green buildings the area was 3000 square feet and it was a corporate project project next is cu shah college of engineering vadhavan city and the area was 35000 square feet it was a institutional building so these were the examples of green building projects that has been executed in india so now here i can conclude my topic through so there are some disadvantages of green concrete but it has more of the positive impact as well there is significant potential in waste materials to produce green concrete because it reduces co2 emissions by increase and increase concrete industries use of waste product by 20% therefore it is way more economical it has a good thermal and fire resistant 
replacement of traditional ingredients of concrete by waste material gives an opportunity to manufacture economical and environmental friendly concrete cost per unit volume of green concrete is comparatively lower so use of green concrete will be definitely beneficial and economical for us thank you